Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a homemade functional equation. We have f of x, y equals f of x to the power y multiplied by f of y to the power x. And x and y are non-negative real numbers. Great. Um, we could probably just say, hey, let's define this for positive numbers. That's probably going to be safer because we're going to be doing some division and we don't want x and y to be zero in this case. Anyways, we have this interesting equation that I kind of thought about and then how do we solve for f. In other words, we need to find an expression for f of x in terms of x. Of course, we'll have some constants, right? No initial conditions, so we're not going to be able to determine what those constants are, but we can look at some specific cases. Anyways, let's go ahead and start by bringing these powers down. How can we do that? We can actually log both sides. And in this case, I'd like to use the natural log, which is ln. Let's go ahead and ln both sides. Now, when you log or ln a product, it's going to turn into a sum, right? So we can write this as ln f of x, y. I don't, I don't think I need to write this in parentheses, do I? I mean, it's probably understood. But anyways, let me just use uh, the parentheses. And then from here, we're going to be able to distribute it and write this as ln f of x to the power y plus ln f of y to the power x. But, but before we go any further, I just want to raise a question. Can Wolfram Alpha solve this problem? What do you think? I'm about to show you the results, so I want you to make a guess. Yes or no. And let's take a look. Ready, set, go. All right. So this is what I got from Wolfram Alpha. Apparently, it cannot solve this problem. That's why artificial intelligence is kind of like a hype at this point, I think can't really solve some math problems like these, like functional equations. Uh, by the way, it's not just uh, based on one observation. I've asked ChatGPT a bunch of functional equations and it couldn't solve it. it. Just gives you some stuff, it spits out some stuff that I learned from the internet, whatever, but it's still not there yet. So for a while, I think we're going to be good. Anyways, so let's go ahead and take it from here and see what we can do with that. Now we have this ln think, I could probably just take it and kind of move it down until I bring it to a point where I want it to be like, so let's go ahead and move this down here. So you see, being lazy again, I don't need to, I don't want to write it again. Okay, so that's my expression now. And what am I going to do? I'm going to go ahead and work it out. Now at this point, it doesn't look, make much sense because I have the lns on both sides. So what? But remember, our goal was to bring these down, so let's go ahead and do it. ln f of x, y equals y ln f of x plus x ln f of y. Again, I'm avoiding the parentheses, but I hope they're understood. We rewrote this so many times. Now, we have this interesting scenario, right? So with functional equations like these, we kind of want to turn it into uh, something in which we can use substitution, okay? So how do we do that? By using some tricks. Remember, I kind of mentioned that we were going to use division. So how do we use division? Well, the presence of x, y here kind of gives me a clue. And of course, I also have a y here and an x here. So I think dividing both sides by x, y would be a good idea. Of course, it's for easy for me to say that because I, I kind of came up with the problem. I did actually, not kind of, but I came up with the problem. And then I know the solution because you just need to work backwards, right? Obviously. But even if you didn't, you could still come up with something like this, you know, after some practice. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides by x, y, which involves dividing everything by x, y. It's better that way. And then now we're going to see if we can turn it into something more meaningful. So on the left, we have ln f of x, y. I know some people are just going to complain about it, so I might as well just write the parentheses. And on the right-hand side, notice that the y cancels out, and here the x cancels out. Let's go ahead and clean them up. And now we have ln f of x 
divided by x plus ln f of y divided by y. This probably makes sense when I said, okay, I don't want x and y to be zero, I want x and y to be positive. That also makes sense because I want this from positive reals to positive reals because uh, when you consider ln of f of x, obviously you want f of x to be greater than zero. So if your uh, range or codomain is positive real numbers, then you're probably in good shape. Anyways, what am I seeing? I'm seeing a pattern. Do you see what I see? This kind of looks interesting, doesn't it? Because we can use substitution. Let's go ahead and call this g of x. And guess what that implies? That implies that this is going to become g of y, and this expression is going to become g of x, y. Because if you think about it, if g of x is ln f of x over x, then replacing x with y is going to produce g of y, which is ln f of y over y, and replacing x with x, y is going to replace, uh, is going to produce ln f of x, y divided by f x, y. Make sense? So all the same pattern everywhere. So now we can go ahead and make the substitution. Let's go ahead and rewrite it. g of x equals ln f of x divided by x. Awesome. Now, we kind of turned it into an easier problem by making the substitution because now our g is actually a lot simpler. Take a look. We get g of x, y from here. Let's just follow up. g of x, y on the left equals g of x plus g of y. Don't you love that? And do you recognize this? Does this look familiar? I hope it does. It should because it's one of the Cauchy's functional equations. So you should immediately say, Cauchy, yay! Okay, now, g turns a product into a sum. So here's my quick multiple choice quiz or question. What kind of function does this? Okay, a, exponential, b, polynomial, c, logarithmic. What do you think? I'll give you some time to think about it. And the answer is log C. Yay. The right answer is C for correct, right? Okay. I hope you see what I see here. Now, what am I going to do with this? I know the solution to this equation. So let me rewrite it. G of x, y equals G of x plus G of y. By the way, why is the answer C to this multiple choice question? Because log in general ln of x, y is ln x plus ln y from properties of logarithms. Therefore, this functional equation has the following solution. But wait a minute. Does it have to be just ln x or can it be something else? And the answer is yes, it can be something else. Like more generally, g of x can be k times ln x because when you introduce the co constant on both sides, it's going to cancel out. Of course, k should not be zero, then you're going to be getting the zero function, which is not a good idea in this case. Okay, so what does that mean? g of x is equal to k ln x, but what is g of x? It's ln f of x divided by x. From here, we get a beautiful equation. Let's go ahead and work it out. So this gives us ln f of x. If you do the cross multiplication, you get k x ln x. And now we can go ahead and move this up as a power that gives us ln f of x. And why do we do that? Because we want to end up with ln equals ln. Make sense? So now this gives us ln x to the power kx. Now you can do e to the power both sides and totally forget about the lns. And from here we get f of x equals x to the power kx. And if you wanted to check your work, you could go ahead and plug it in. Please plug it in to make sure that we did it correctly. And if we didn't, please let us know in the comment section down below. And this brings us to the end of the video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and we're smarter than Wolfram Alpha. Don't forget that. And bye-bye.